This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at resonance structures. Resonance structures occur when there is more than one position for a multiple bond in a molecule. A multiple bond can be either a double or a triple covalent bond. Here we can see the three resonance structures of the carbonate ion. In each structure, the carbon to oxygen double bond is located in a different position. The number of resonance structures for a molecule is determined by the number of different Lewis structures that can be drawn. In the case of the carbonate ion, there are three possible Lewis structures, each one with a carbon to oxygen double bond in a different position. Therefore, there are three resonance structures. However, none of these Lewis structures accurately represent the actual structure of the carbonate ion, which we'll look at next. So the actual structure of the carbonate ion is what's known as a resonance hybrid structure. Here we can see one way of representing the resonance hybrid structure of the carbonate ion. In the resonance hybrid structure, the bond lengths and bond strengths in the carbonate ion are identical. They are intermediate in length and strength between a single and a double bond. So these intermediate bonds are shorter than a single bond, but longer than a double bond and they are stronger than a single bond, but weaker than a double bond. This is what is meant by being intermediate in length and strength between a single and a double bond. So next we'll have a look at more examples of resonance structures, starting with the nitrate ion. So the nitrate ion has three possible resonance structures, each with the double bond in a different position. Next we have the ozone molecule, which is O3. As you can see, there are two possible Lewis structures for the ozone molecule, and each one has the oxygen to oxygen double bond in a different position. So once again, the actual structure of these molecules is the resonance hybrid structure in which the bonds are intermediate in length and strength between a single and a double bond. The next example we look at is the ethanoate ion. The ethanoate ion has two possible Lewis structures in which the carbon to oxygen double bond is in a different position. And the last example we look at is benzene. The kekule structure of benzene has alternating single and double bonds, and this gives rise to two possible Lewis structures. And on the right, we have another way of representing the benzene molecule. So let's end with a summary. Resonance structures occur when there is more than one position for a multiple bond in a molecule or ion, this means that it's possible to draw more than one correct Lewis structure. The actual structure of the molecule or ion is a resonance hybrid structure in which the bonds are intermediate in length and strength between a single and a double bond. And finally, resonance structures have delocalized electrons, which are shared over more than two nuclei. Delocalized electrons are covered in more detail in a later video.